on right here. What's going on YouTube? Memphis Mike and my brother Dano. What's up? We're calling this our Super Bowl Sunday ride. Instead of getting ready for the Super Bowl, we opted to come out and take a ride today. Discovering some new turf, some new roads. I don't know about you, Dano, but when it comes to Super Bowl, uh, I don't really give two shades of you know what, who's playing, huh? Yeah, you know me. It's something to watch on TV, and it's, it's a 50-50 deal with me. Drink a little beer and eat a little hot wing, maybe? That's pretty much what I like about the Super Bowl. It's all about the food. It's all about the wings. I don't know. I may throw some wings on the the new grill when I get home this evening, just to be just to be festive, I suppose. So you know, but it's a good day. Anyway, got a little Super Bowl action going on. Of course, by the time people watch this, the Super Bowl would have been over with, so we don't know who won. Ooh, Lord, that smelled like a nice skunk, or is that your aftershave? Jeez. Uh, I wasn't going to say, man. Yeah. Keep your pants up a little bit there, brother. No, that's right. And smoked sausages doing a number, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, we just got out here and uh, just exploring some new roads out here. I guess we're coming to Saltillo, Tennessee. Yeah, we kind of came out of Lexington. And everything, we're, a buddy suggested Highway 104. And we've had a lot of curvy stuff going on. I hope I didn't start the camera too late and miss the best stuff. Anyway, it says about 13 miles to wherever we're going here. So, just stretching it out. But you went to the, uh, what, the arena cross last night, didn't you? Correct, correct. We, we love all sorts of motorsports. In my family, and right. spent many years off-road racing, and, and local ran across was in town last night. Uh -huh. got, got to go see some some old friends slash people I haven't seen in a long time. Old cowboy Kenny Bartram, freestyle MX rider. Now is that who, is that who you uh, took the picture with? Yes. Uh yeah. Uh, I'll show you that picture right here, YouTube. And this guy is who? Cowboy Kenny Bartram. Okay. All right. Now these guys racing. They doing stunts. What are they? What are they doing? Uh, last night was a little mixture of everything, but the big thing last night was racing. But Cowboy did the intermission or uh. the intermission with uh, him and another gentleman from the X Games, and I forget that other gentleman's name from last night. I got you. But I've got a picture somewhere when I was a lot younger with Kenny too, and that's what we were talking last night. I'm uh. like. Man, how old are you? He's like, man, I'm only 40. And I'm like, well, damn. I said, hell, I'm 10 years younger. But I remember seeing you when I was probably 10, 12 or at a younger age. Right, right. Oh, yeah. You know, I had a little XL250 back in the day. And I'll show you guys this photo I still took. Look at there, Memphis Mike getting a little air time with that XL250 right there. Yeah, man, get down. That's right, buddy. That's right. Got down many a time. Even to the tune of separating the shoulder, but I guess apparently that's a, a common thing if you're on the dirt. <laughs> that's right. You're gonna you're gonna break something. You know. Yeah, we all. Uh, that's where I mean that's where a lot of us start with our love for motorcycles is at a young age, and, and it was in, as bad as I say it in the off-road industry part of it. Well, that's true. I mean, like I say, my first bike in 19. I want to see, I either, it was an 82 or an 83 XL250 my stepdad bought for me. And I wore that thing out, man, going back and forth to UPS. Then on the weekend, I'd take the mirrors off, and we go ride the dirt trails. And uh, then he actually had a Aspen Cade as well. And I, I want to say that was either a 500 maybe. But it was, you know, close thing to a goal wing, so I was—I guess I was riding a goal wing and didn't even know it, you know. But uh, yeah, FYI, YouTube, I wasn't even born then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but you did—you did mostly three wheel in action, didn't you? Yeah, three wheel did a lot of. That's what my dad started on, and that's what got me into it. And uh, I have—I still have the original mini bike that I that I started on, and then. 
I had my original three-wheeler that I first bought, which was a 79-110. It was in a guy's shed. Right. It was a part of our cup pack of our Boy Scouts. Yeah. And I rolled out there with $40 of my lawn mowing money. And he said, if you can dig it out, you can take it. Yeah. So I spent the next five and a half hours digging it out. They took it home, cleaned the car, and a uh, new plug and a fresh set of oil. And bam, that thing fired up at the third pool. Oh, yeah. And I rode that thing around for years. Yeah, yeah. And it made you the wrencher that you are today. That's yeah, right. <laughs> it, 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 it broke down, believe it or not. That's how I started in my whole being a wrench. Yeah. It broke down one time, and, and Dad was like, all right, here's a set of tools, and let's go let's go to the Honda shop. And I was like, when are we going to take the bike? And he said, no. He went and got a manual and bought me a climber's manual then a factory Honda manual for it. He said, let's read through here and let's see what this says about and let's diagnose it and let's uh, fix it. And I'm like, what kind of damn fun is this? And then when you started working on it and stuff, it was like, oh man, you changed out the frame, you put different stuff on it, bigger pipe, then you had to jet the carbs. You got to learn about that. I mean, it, was, it was all a learning process and I thank my old man for that. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, about all my stepdad did was, did you tear some up again? <laughs> you know, it's like, like, but, yeah. uh, you know, hell, you learn by doing, man. Yeah. Oh, um, heck yeah. yeah. Yeah, the cool thing is when you bust out that 250R three-wheeler like I did when you come over that day, uh -huh. everybody's like, oh, man, yeah, and then you get that thing out there like, holy smokes. Yeah, that thing would fly, man. <laughs> Dude, you're ripping around that yard out there. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. But yeah, you too. We're just out cruising on Super Bowl Sunday out of here. Taking in a little bit of new ride. Looks like we're fixing to come into this junction here. Man, I wish I would have turned this thing on up there. We actually had a little bit better road going on that way. We're just going to stretch it out today for a couple of hours and uh, have fun, uh, kick back a little bit. Yeah. Everybody else is sleeping in. What time did you leave the house this morning? Uh, I left the house at 6.30. Yeah, I was just... Couldn't, couldn't get nobody else to participate, man. Well, I guess, you know, heck, it's going to be 68 degrees in that's, freaking February. That's, that was the big thing for me today, man. It's been... And then I was up in the snow this part uh, beginning of last week up in Ohio and whatnot, man and just cold and the negative degrees, I'm like, man, I don't want to go back home where it's warm. Yeah, yeah, for real. So it's, it's a cool town here. I guess we came and gone through it. Here on Highway 104, picked it up out of Lexington, Kentucky, actually a little bit north of Lexington, I guess. I'm glad Lexington, my, Tennessee. Tennessee. Tennessee, my God. So yeah, maybe I'm wishing I was in... Uh, Kentucky. I mean, I, I traveling some old Moonshiner Road there, son. Yeah, I know, right, man. I'm kind of losing my mind, kind of like I did in uh, Dan Mark's camper trailer. Oh, Dan Mark, did you hear that? Oh Lord, I I don't know if we should show him that or not. I don't know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me just prepare you for this. You may unsubscribe after this. <laughs> Mikey had a little too much fun. One of the Memphis Mike followers, contributors, and so forth. Dan Mark from up in Iowa rode down and uh, bought him a new camper. Yeah. And it was a bunkhouse, is that right? Yeah, the bunkhouse. Uh -huh. Bought him a bunkhouse and uh, come back through Memphis and he pulled up with it and Mike's like, oh man, I gotta see this. Uh-huh. Dan Mark set it up and and uh, had one, Dan had one of his uh, friends with him also traveling. Yeah. And we sat back, and we ate a little bit of barbecue, and and then all of a sudden, we kind of lost Mike there for a few. And I, thinking, I, well, where did Mike go? I don't know what happened, man. Uh, yeah. 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 Y'all take a look at this. Hey, early morning here. Dan from Iowa come down. We're gonna go get Mikey. We got Mikey's bike all detailed up. Go Thank find you. him. And early in the morning, it's gonna be a good day. We're going to get our helmets after Mikey finished packing the bike and get it set off the lift, oh. and it's going to be good. But the question is, what is Mikey doing? What the hell is that? What is this? He's got gloves, bags. 
Where's he at? <laughs> you can go in first. <laughs> no, you're going. This is your camper now. You can't unsee what I think we're going to see. Oh. Oh, baby. Mikey. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, got whoa. <laughs> Wake up time. What? What, what are you doing, dude? What the, what the hell? What, what? What is going on hey, in what? here? That's uh, not the line we were talking about. I'm uh, <laughs> just... Uh, I'm uh, testing out the... Uh, Bump. See if see if it leaked overnight or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. raining, so I thought. Uh, How long you been I, out here? I, I, or what time did you come out here last I, night? I, uh, oh, baby. Oh. All right, let's go. Well, uh, yeah, I'm like. Uh, if you ain't ready in thirty minutes, we're leaving. What? Where, where are we going? It don't matter now. I gotta put. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> I gotta pull my pants. So yeah, things got a little carried away there in the uh, uh, <clears throat> the camper. I don't know. I don't know if that was before the bourbon or after the bourbon. Yeah. I'm not, because uh, I know, I know the next morning I looked out though, and you gentlemen certainly uh, carried your share of the brewskis by the by the amount of bottles found in my garbage can. <laughs> That's right. Even found Dan Mark's leftover cigar. Am hey. I just, hey, you know he still had a good three dollars left. Shoot, I cut the end off that thing, smoked the rest of it, man. You know. <laughs> yeah, and, and Dan Mark, we're sorry, and, and tell Mo we're sorry that she's got to uh, disinfect that camper after you get home too. Oh, that's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, you two, we're gonna get off here. We're starting to run a little bit long on this video here. Appreciate you watching. Hope your team wins or won for Super Bowl, and. Uh, We'll holler at you later. This is Memphis Mike with my sidekick. Dano. And be sure and hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button. Tell all your friends, all your neighbors, all your family, grab some popcorn and yeah. have, have a Memphis Mike weekend of movies, home movies. And we'll see you later. We will. Too. See you later.